hello and welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own custom title blocks in autodex revit okay so this gives you provision for your own uniqueness and creativity while creating your title blocks at the same time enhancing your presentation drawings so if this is the first time coming to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button leave a like leave a comment in the comment section and also hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos because we do this on a weekly basis don't forget to share with your friends and without any further ado we are going to jump right into the main content of this video okay so currently we have a revit project open but i want to create a new title block for this project so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to file under this file i'm going to go to new under this new i'm just going to click on family so under this family some set of templates will come out but instead of using going under this english imperial i'm going to go back and i'm going to go to english metric so under this english metric i'm going to see a folder called title blocks and i'm going to click it under this title blocks i'm just going to click the a3 metric because that is the kind of the size of sheet i want to use then i'm going to click ok so once the a3 metric is open you are going to see a default plain a3 sheet so we are going to start by creating our border lines first then we are going to create a title block okay so we are going to go under lines so under these lines you have option to use thick lines medium lines thin lines and wide lines so we are just going to start from thin lines so for these thin lines we are just going to use this box to rectangle to to draw our border line so currently it's the metric system so it's using millimeters so we are just going to go to this offset tab and we are going to put minus 10 so the borderline will be placed at minus 10 millimeters around this box. so i'm just going to click escape firstly I'm, i just want to reshow you then i'm going to click this box too now this offset is minus 10 millimeter i'm just going to pick this point you can see the 10 millimeter offset and pick this point which is all good so we're going to go to create again and we're going to be creating our title block so we're going to go to 10 lines okay then we're just going to go over to this point i'm using 10 lines for now because i usually start with 10 lines then once i finalize my layout i'll now go to tick lines i'll now start replacing them with tick lines so i'm going to start by drawing 50 millimeter of this point i'm going to be drawing a vertical panel title block okay so i'm now going to be going to create again i'm going to be going to lines and i'm just going to be creating demarcation so the first segment will be at 50 millimeter and the other segment will now be at 25 millimeters so i'm just going to put 25 and I'm just going to be copying it, copying this, copying this, copying this, copying this, copying this, and copying this. This is a lot. Okay, so now we have copied this. I'm just going to select all these lines and I'm just going to change them from 10 lines and I'm going to change them to wide lines. So just to add a little bit of graphic touch, I'm just going to click on line again. Then I'm going to click on this rectangle tool and I'm going to put offset at minus 2, 2.5. Okay, so now I'm just going to be clicking on this point, minus 2.5. Uh -huh. so now i'm just going to be clicking on this point to this point and i'm just going to be creating kind of a mini panel inside so i'm going to be doing this here i'm going to do this here as well okay so now we are going to start putting some text now so firstly we are going to go to create under this create we have two type of um, two options under this text we could create a text and we could create a label firstly we are going to start by creating text for us to title the label so we are going to click on text we are going to now edit the parameter of this text i'm going to click on edit type i'm going to click on duplicate and i'm going to change this name to 01 title text okay then i'm just going to click ok so before i click ok i'm going, I'm going to edit some parameters i'm going to change the text font to um, bebas newer or let me use a generalized text font so you'll be able to follow let me use source sounds pro okay then i will click on it then i'm going to change the text size i'm going to change the text size to five millimeters and i'm going to click go under this bold and tick this bold icon here then i'm going to click ok so firstly i'm going to call this first box the notes this note is where you can write your copyright notes about the project okay i think this text font is too big i'm going to click edit type and i'm going to change the text size to let's say three three millimeters okay this one i can call it notes i can go to create again go to text then this second segment i'm going to call it project title column i'm going to do the same again i'm going to call this client name or client the next box i'm going to be calling it sheet name the next section i'm going to be calling it sheet number the next segment i'm going to be naming it scale okay what i'm going to do now is i forgot about the consultant so i'm going to carry all this text and i'm going to just push them by one box further okay then i'm just going to click on this and i'm going to copy this 
and I'm going to name this consultant. Then under this consultant, I can now copy this final one or this penultimate one and I could name this date. Then the last segment, I'm now going to name it sale. Okay, I think this is good. So now we are going to go back to create. We are going to click on label now. So under this label, as usual, we are going to change the text style. We are going to click on edit type. We are going to click on duplicate. And I'm going to name this 02 text. Okay, then I'm going to, going to click OK. So I'm going to be changing these parameters. I'm going to be changing the fonts to Source Sans Pro. Let me just use Source Pro. I don't typically use this text style, but let me just use it for so everybody can follow. So I'm going to change the text size to 2 millimeters and I'm just going to click OK. So after editing the parameters, I'm just going to click on anywhere on the screen. Let me just start with this project title and I'm just going to click. Okay, so you are going to see this panel will pop up. So under this panel, you are not going to set the parameters. So for this project title, we are just going to look for the closest thing to project title. So we are going to call this project name. And once we click on this project name, we are just going to click on this add parameters here. And we are going to add it. So we are just going to click OK. All right. So the next thing, we are going to go and click again to create another label so under this one i think we are going to be creating for the client so we are just going to look for where the parameter client name and we're just going to click on this add parameters and we're going to click okay so the next one we are going to be talking about the consultant okay you could call this design by so 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 and anything so i'm just going to click on this text and i'm just going to be adding the design by okay so we are going to see design by we could just use this design by and click on this and we'll just click okay so now we are going to be adding the sheet name so so we are going to click on it again then we're just going to be looking for sheet name under this project okay you can see sheet name here and we're just going to put this here and we're going to click okay so now we're going to be putting for the sheet sheet number so we're just going to click anywhere again we're going to look and we're going to go to sheet number we're going to add this and we're going to click okay so some of this text we are going to be editing it some will be bigger some will be smaller so we'll still get back to it so now for the scale we're just going to click again and we're going to look for scale we are going to add the parameter we are going to click ok so now the dates we are going to click here we are going to look for the dates ok then i'm just going to click on data or timestamp add it and i'm going to click ok then the sale we don't need to put any parameter here because a sale is a sale it is just a portion of the sheet for the sale ok so now some of these texts are too big some are too small so the project name we are just going to be aligning it i think this the project name is good the client's name okay this notes now okay this note we are not going to be using a label for it because the note is very dynamic so we could just go to create and we could just go to normal text under this normal text we are going to change it from title text and we're just going to click on edit duplicate and we're going to case duplicate we are going to call this text 02 text okay then we're going to click ok we're going to uncheck this bold and we're going to try and make it match the other size of this text and i'm going to make the text size 2 and i'm just going to be adding this here so let me just say the ball is not to be copied of course what i just said now doesn't make sense but it's just a general note so we could use that depending okay so now um, we are still going to go back to aligning this and just making sure everything looks good okay so now for this sheet number i usually prefer the sheet number being bold and emphasized so what i'm going to do i'm going to click on this i'm just going to click on duplicate edit type i'm going to click on duplicate and i'm going to name this sheet number so after i've named it sheet number so it has its own unique name i'm just going to increase the text size to let's say six and i'm going to click ok so now I'm just going to adjust it and place it here. So the sheet number is now bold, so you could easily see it. So now this our title block is looking very boring and I'm going to do some things on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create to create. I'm going to go to field region. Under this field region, I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go to this foreground field pattern. I'm going to change it from diagonal crosshatch to solid field. Then once I click it, I'm going to click OK. So I'm just going to draw my profile. So I'm just going to be drawing a profile from here to let's say this point and i'm just going to offset it at um i'm going to offset it at 2.5 okay let, let me offset it at 3 i'm going to offset it here the same thing here as well i'm going to go to draw here and i'm going to draw a line from here 
and I'm going to draw a line from here to about 300. Then I'm going to offset it too. Okay, so now I'm just going to be slanting the lines just to create one diagonal feel, diagonal effect. Doing this here as well and doing this here as well. So now I'm just going to use this trim tool to trim it, to trim this. Note this now, this is just for, I'm just showing you how to be creative with this. It doesn't necessarily mean you should do your title block like this. You could use the normal title block tick line. So I'm just going to click on finish. So as you can see, you can see this, then I'll just reduce, delete these lines. I can just delete these lines. Then I could go to create, I could use, um, go to lines. Under these lines, I could now use a, a very thick line. Let's use a wide line to just fill up this part here and fill this up here. So I think this is looking good. You could see all the parameters. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this. And uh, once I'm going, I'm going to locate the place where I want to save it. You could create a local library for yourself and just save it. So I'm just going to name this Architect Piper Title Block. Then I'm going to click Save. So once it's done saving, I'm just going to click on Load It into Project and Close. Okay. So now you could see I could just place it here, but rather I could just delete this. So now we already have this project placed on a sheet. You can see the sheets list here. Let's go. Let's say we go to this A001 where there is a plan now. So I'm just going to click on this sheet now and I'm going to go to this panel here. Then I'm going to click on this drop down icon. Then you're going to see the sheet acted by part title block. Then you're going to, going to see how it replaced here. So firstly, you could see the, the sheet number is colorating with what we have here. You could see A001, A001. You could see the scale of this plan. Scale 1 is to 100. You could see the date. Uh -huh. So it's looking at. So this designer now, I could now change it to, let's say, Architect Piper. Then I could change the client to YouTube. Then, yes, I could now give the project a name, let's say four bedroom duplex. So you could see the freedom I have with this title block now. Uh, you could see the notes, the ball is not to be copied. Something you could add any kind of note. You could see how freely I am. So if I go, for instance, now and rename this thing and rename this sheet, I'm going to click go to this panel here and I'm just going to change this name to ground floor plan. Then I'm going to click OK then everything will change as well so another thing you can do is you could add your logo to this so let's say we want to add a logo to this sheet we are just going to click on this and we're going to click on edit family so we're going to edit it again so we're just going to open our file browser and we're just going to look for where our any image we want to do so let me just go to my downloads and look for any logo i want to do okay let's say this plus is my logo now or let's say this alarm is my logo i'm just going to drag it into this sheet so once I drag it, I'm going to reduce the size. Sometimes if you are downloading very heavy images, it might have an error. So let's go to this consultant and I'm just going to drag it and put it just somewhere here. Then put it here. Then I'm going to drag this text and put it somewhere here. So if this is your logo, maybe your company logo, you could just add it here. And you are just going to click load into project. You no. Know, and override existing project. Okay, so as you can see, this is how to create your title blocks. You can see the consultant Architect Piper with my Architect Piper logo. And once you go to this other sheets now, where these 3Ds are, you could just click on it, click on this existing sheet, click on this drop down icon and change it and it will just replace it exactly. So you could still adjust it to just fit in now, there are border lines. So that is it, just it in a nutshell. So with this, you could create different kind of sheets. You could create your cover sheets and any kind of sheet you want to do. You could make it simpler. You could make it more complex. This is just how to explore this tool in Revit and create your own custom title blocks. So if this video was helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel for more content like this because we do this on a weekly basis. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos share with your friends until the next video i'm going to be telling you a brief goodbye